Hi everybody, this is Dan Sheridan, and today we're going to talk about a little more beginner intermediate information. We're going to talk about how you would get long something, and we're going to use Zoom as an example. So if you look at Zoom today, on Thursday, April 30th, Zoom is down $9, 6.7%. You <clears throat> say, Dan, why is it down? You know, Zoom, everybody's using Zoom during the coronavirus situation. And literally six days ago, it hit a high of 181, and we've dropped off quite a bit since then. Why? Well, the news today was they, you know, innocent or not, you can be the judge. They, they, I think they said they had so many million viewers and, and they re-clarified it today and said it was participants or something. But <clears throat> should that have taken the stock down 7%? No, I mean, it could be there's some competition coming in this um, uh, for Zoom and like Facebook and stuff. But again, it's, it's dropped off um, $45 in the last week or so. And if you think Zoom will be around and the stock will go up a little bit more, which I would think so, right? Um, but it's a possibility. How do you get long? And one of the ideas I'm going to talk about today is a vertical trade. You know, as you look at a part, uh, here's a chart of Zoom, and, and you can have it here. You can see we're right above the, uh, we are right above the, uh, you have two different moving averages here. You have a 200-day moving average here, which is like at 91. And then you have more of a 50-day, a little shorter-term moving average is uh, around 129. And, and we're not down there at that point yet. But what's an idea to get long without getting your face ripped off in a decent risk-reward? Here's an idea. So what I'm looking at is... Uh, Again, if you think, because it jumped so quick today, maybe it'll jump back a little bit in the next couple of weeks. So I'm looking at the May 15 expiration. <clears throat> and one thing I want to point out, implied volatilities you can see are very high. And what does that mean in English? It just means there's, there's a lot of extra juice in these options. For example, if you look at a 135 call uh, in Zoom, well, with the stock at around 136, in two weeks at expiration, it's only going to be worth a buck. So there's $9.46 in there. So just buying a call, if you're wrong and time passes, you know, you're paying a lot. You're, you're like paying to see a Michael Jordan championship game and you're going to pay, you know, 50 times over face value or whatever. So how would I get long without, because the, the options are very overpriced. How would I get long? Here's an example, and we're going to look at it. Buy one, 135 call. So it's a little bit in the money. And so I'm buying $9, a little over $9 of extrinsic value, but I'm offsetting this with selling almost as much extrinsic value in the 138s. So I'm, I'm kind of offsetting... I'm, I'm buying an option that has a lot of extrinsic, but I'm selling one that has almost as much extrinsic. And so what that results into, let me get a, a picture up here of it. This is called a, just a call vertical spread. And what I'm doing is I'm buying uh, two weeks out, May 15, a 135 call, right? I'm buying 135s and I'm selling the 138 so it's a three wide the width of the debit spread is three I'm paying about a dollar forty for it so if I pay a dollar forty at expiration if we are over the right now we're at zoom we're at about 136 if, if at expiration we are 138 or higher this spread goes to three dollars and we make over 100% on our money. If if we go down, uh, our risk, our total risk is what we pay. 
$1.40 debit. So 140 bucks for every one. Now, do you have to hold it till expiration? No, if you, if you pay 140 and it goes up, this is kind of how the graph looks today. This is the graph in 15 days at expiration. So you can make really good money, 30, 40%, if we go up in the next three, four days, but I'm just saying at expiration, um, if we're over 138 in 15 days, <clears throat> you can make over 100%. Now, would I hold it till expiration? Probably not. I would, if I paid $1.40, I would probably look for about 50% if I could sell it out at 210, right? So if I bought one, it's $140. And, and I'd be making, looking to make about 50%, 70 bucks on the 140. If I did five of these, let's say I wanted to allocate five or $600. If I did five of these, right? Five times 140 would be about a $700 investment. And if I made 50%, I'd be looking to make 350 bucks on my 700. So again, I chose the vertical because it was a good risk reward as well as it it was a way to get long without buying all this extra extrinsic value, time premium. Again, I didn't want to buy a Michael Jordan championship ticket at 42 times the face value. And so this offset it a bit. Anyways, that's my thoughts. Um, check out SheridanMentoring.com. Uh, we have a, a, a Great deal going on now for, I think, $47 for the first month. You can get this type of teaching every day on uh, good, effective ways to get long or short or to make trades. Thank you.